Well, welcome back, guys, to another episode of World's Dawn. It is the 27th of spring, and it is a raining, stormy day today. Now, I have been having a look at the um, no Noah's trading game thing that we were given. Where is it? Down here. Uh, the Dusty Novel. Um, now, I thought maybe this might be... Uh, a gift for Logan, because uh, Logan's always talking about how he loves to read um, books. Uh, but apparently it's not for Logan. Uh, if you have a look at the text up there, it says, Ancient novel about a family of carpenters. So I'm thinking that maybe uh, Benjamin here might appreciate it. Uh, so we're going to try and give it to him. Is that Dusty Novel, the old story about the carpenter family? That's for me. Yes, you can have it. <laughs> Thanks, Patch. I remember hearing about this old tale and wanted to read. I'll be sure to repay the favour. Okay. I'm not sure... I thought he would give us something else that we then have to give to someone else in turn, but maybe not. Alright, guys. Looks like we've got Bali here coming up to talk to us. <laughs> Pleasant morning, Patch. Ahem. Did you know that today is the last day of spring? I did know that, Barley. Thank you. That means you have been a, a Sugar Blossom Villager for one whole season already. Time certainly flies by, doesn't it? I just wanted to let you know how proud we all are that you seem to be thriving here. You have already ingratiated yourself to so many of the local townsfolk. Not to mention the delicious piping stew you cooked for me when I was feeling ill. That was so kind of you. I truly hope this wonderful season was just the first of many you will share with us here in Sugar Blossom Village. Enjoy these last few hours of spring, Patch. A brand new season starts tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it, Bali. Raining again today. But if I'm correct, I think we should have one last harvest up here. Yes, we've got our potatoes. Um, so in the second farm plot there, I have planted wheat, because uh, that will last through into summer. And this plot I'm going to leave empty. Uh, and then on Monday when the farm shop is open, we'll go up and check out some of the summer crops that are available to plant and we'll plant some of them in here. Alright guys and one other thing that I did want to do now that we have a little bit of spare cash is I want to have a look at how much it is to buy a cow because uh, I'd love to get a cow down at the farm there. Hi Hayley. I think she... what is she like? I think she likes wild mushrooms. Yes. Awesome. I've just been giving gifts to people as I run around as I meet them uh, and talking to everyone to get friendships up. So we've got a few people now who uh, we have friendships at level 2. Uh, not open yet. Of course it's not. Uh, yeah, we have a few uh, friendships at level 2. Oh, WizKid's not coming. Uh, let's take a look here. I think... So, Annabelle... We're up to level 3. Um, Violet, we're up to level 2. Bloom, still level 1. Uh, Dimitri, level 1. Who else is... I know we've got a few up to level 2. Um, Quint, probably, definitely. Yeah, there we go, Quint. I see him all the time. Um, Senna, I've been giving gifts to a lot, because she likes uh, grapes. Uh, so I should get her up fairly quickly. Um, it might be the only ones we've got up to level 2 so far. But I'll keep going, I'll keep giving gifts to people um, as I see them to get our friendship up with them so that we can get uh, one of those, uh, the Feral Shade of Friendship to appear for us. Uh, that'll be cool. Let's go buy ourselves a cow. I'd like to buy an animal. I'm considering a cow. Milk 
cows once a day, but only once they warm up to you a little. You've got to take care of them first by feeding them, brushing them, and keeping them out of the rain. A cow, yes. What are you going to call this friendly beast? How did I get to this point and not be prepared to name a cow? I don't know. Um... Um... We're going to call our cow Cream, because why not? Awesome, so I guess I need to buy... I guess I need to buy some cow food. And a brush from the sounds of things, or... Or is the brush... Do you just brush it by talking to it? That's medicine, I think. Maybe you just have to talk to it in order to brush it. Um, anyway, we'll head back and we'll see our cow. Alright, here we are. Let's see it. Ah, oh, look! There we go. Excellent. So, we've got a cow now, guys. Hopefully we can, uh, in a couple weeks, we can start getting milk from it. That'd be awesome. Alright, guys, so it is now the last day of spring, and we're about to sleep it away. Uh, so let's welcome in the first day of summer together. <sighs> Greetings, my young friend. Oh, hello. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. You are most welcome in this sacred glade. I am Chloe one of the five nature spirits who first swore to protect this village long, long ago. My sisters and I have been watching over Sugar Blossom for centuries, ever since a desperate shepherd begged our aid amidst a devastating war. From that day, this village has been an enchanted sanctuary to those in need of one. As the outside world grows more and more discouraged and disconnected, Sugar Blossom remains a quiet haven. And yet, when the good people of the village do not keep us close to their hearts, our influence wanes, and when the memory of our existence begins to fade, our powers fade with it. Thirty years ago, a man named Noah came to us with all of Sugar Blossom watching. He showed us that he had not forgotten our names and had kept our values close to his heart. Generosity for my sister Ivana. Friendship for my sister Ardeth. Respect for nature for my sister Jade. True love for my sister Freya. And perseverance for me. You have done well so far, making it through your first season in Sugar Blossom with a flourish. As you continue to persevere, I will appear to you again, as will my sisters, for their own values. Perhaps if your dedication to this village is pure, you will be able to restore our power, and together we can uh, preserve this slice of paradise. However, if things stay as they are, I foresee a tragic future for Sugar Blossom. Dusty clouds blocking out the sun, bitter winds sweeping through the streets. Your friends will have no choice but to pack up their homes and leave this place behind. So what say you, young Patch? Will you keep us in your heart and help us save the town? You can count on me. Your words ring true and put me at ease. Perhaps there is hope for Sugar Blossom still, with your efforts guiding the way. 
I shall return to you in one season hence, Patch. Perhaps by then we will begin to see how dedicated you are to this beautiful village and the kind souls who dwell here. Fare thee well until that time. <sighs> awesome, so we met our first... Uh, we met our first Feral Shade, Perseverance. And hopefully we start unlocking more now. But, let's go out and have a look at Summer. Oh, let's watch the TV first. Welcome to Village Life. Ahem, this week we'll be talking about mining in the quarry over near Fisherman's Spring. There are three, there are stepping stones placed to help you cross the river, but be careful, they may be slippery. Once you're inside, use your pickaxe to mine raw gemstones from the rocks. Use the faceting kit on the main floor to refine those gemstones. You may discover some valuable jewels for your trouble. See you next week. If you got this far without figuring out how to mine, there's probably going to be a problem. Summertime is here. Madison would like to remind everyone to seek shade or water whenever you're feeling tired. Cool. Let's go see what summer brings. Flowers bend to sky and sun as gentle ocean zephyrs bear. Lazy hazy days of fun and sweetness on the summer air. Noah Hayseed. Oh look, some of the trees have turned pink. Oh, this is so awesome. Oh, there's new fruits around and all sorts. What's this? Mirabelle Plum. Awesome. Look, the grass is a lighter shade of green. We'll go and have a more of a look in just a second. We'll just make sure everything's fed and we'll probably put these guys outside today as well. They don't want to miss out on this beautiful summer's day. Can I brush the cow? No. I might have to look into how I go about brushing the cow. Because um, I thought I didn't see a brush in the shop. But maybe there is one. Anyway, we'll put those guys outside. Oh, look at them both out there. Come on, Wizkid. Let's go see summer. Oh, look, pink trees. Oh, the flowers are different as well, I think. Yeah, look, everything's different colours. There's still coins buried everywhere that Wizkid loves to sniff out. I feel like there's a... There's a lens flare on the screen as well. I don't know if that was there in the spring. I didn't. This is the first time I've noticed it. Uh, anyone? Anyone out? There is someone out playing lock ball. Oh, got a grubby stone. Okay, I'm going to verse Alex. I think it's Alexander. I'm going to verse Alex in lock ball. I got him. I got him good. I got his number. Awesome. 5 0 win. Excellent. Oh, shucks. Maybe I'm getting too old to keep up with you youngsters. Oh, look, we leveled up our junction ability. Nice. Uh, so, what else is different? Oh, look. Is that. I think that's Bryn. It is. She's wearing different clothes, so everyone changes clothes, apparently. Hi, Annabelle! Oh, look at her. She's a little cutie with her new outfit. I got something for you. There. <laughs> oh, it's... I think that was my, um... My ocarina.
Yes! Are you the one who played those beautiful notes? Pleased to meet you. I am Zoli, one of the ten charm fairies who call this village home. We are a bright and spirited bunch we are, and magic... Yes, yes, we've heard that. Uh, Orion, Haley, Senna... Uh, Senna, I've been working on... I've seen her a lot and been talking to her quite a bit, so I'm going to send you to Senna. Awesome. And what's this? Oranges? Luscious oranges. So the bananas that we were getting here in spring are obviously now replaced with oranges. That's cool. I wonder if the type of fish you can catch change with the season as well. Let's throw a line and see what happens. Looks the same. Missed it. Missed it by that much. Come on, fishies. Well, this is almost as bad as fishing in real life. Oh, come on. Bluefin tuna. Same as what we normally get. We can take this up, though, and feed it to the cat. Let's go and see if the cat's there today. Hello, kitty. Okay. More. More fishes it needs. Oh, look what we found. It's an eloquent iris, which just happens to be Annabelle's favorite flower. So I guess they grow in the summer, which is going to be super awesome. Because uh, we should be able to get our relationship up with her that much faster now. Now look, I think this is... Is this Marianne? Howdy. Morning, farmer. I'm happy to see Cream got settled in your barn okay. I hope you can start building a great friendship. It will take at least a week or two before the beast is really comfortable with you. But once that happens, you'll be needing this. A milking pail. <laughs> Cows who are happy with their humans provide tasty milk every day. The better your bovine friend likes you, the more milk they'll give you. As soon as you can tell as soon as you can tell cream is up for it, just start using that milking pail once a day and take care in the meantime, Patch. Awesome. I still don't know how to brush the cow, but we're off to a good start. Uh, speaking of the cow. Hi. Have some fodder. Looks content, go outside for the day. Cool, I'm looking forward to getting milk. I really hope we can make our own cheese. That would be awesome. Um, but yeah, I'll come back with you guys when something interesting is happening. Okay, let's have a look at what summer seeds are available. Summer is a great time to grow crops like corn and potato, uh, corn and tomatoes. Well, we've got wheat, tomato, corn, and melon. Um, what do we want to do here? I'm going to buy 20 melons, 10 corn, and 10 tomato. Uh, because I like melons. And I also like corn, but not as much as I like melons. And I don't really like tomato, but we should grow some because someone else might. So I'm going to head back and plant up one of our patches full of melons. Alright, so last time I was in the shop, um, Benjamin mentioned that I needed to mine 99 more rocks uh, to upgrade my pick. So I'm just going to see if we've managed to do that yet. Yes. Silver pickaxe. Excellent. So I think that's the best pickaxe we can get. Uh, so that should hopefully mean that we're mining a lot quicker and using less energy to do it, I hope. So I'm just got, I've got to go up and water uh, my crops. I just planted uh, our second patch full of melons. So I've got to go up and water everything for today. Then I might go and head down into the mine and um, check out how this new pick goes. 
Alright, so I'm down here on level 5 of the mine. Let's see how our new pick works. Okay, only two hits to break things. And I think it's using less energy. I hope it's using less energy. So... Oh, much faster. I'm going to stick around. Break some rocks. And uh, then head home and send off. I've got a fairly big shipment to send off today. I've harvested, I think, all of my... All my potatoes? Where are we? Yeah, I've got 20 potatoes. I'll probably keep like five of them, same as I had with my strawberries. Uh, just in case we find something that we want to use them for, like we want to cook them or something like that. Uh, but I'll send off 15 potatoes and I'll send off everything that I get out of the mines here. So hopefully tomorrow we should get a bit of cash. Okay guys, so I think we're going to call the episode here. Um, I'm just going to cut up the stones that I got and uh, ship them all off for tomorrow. So yeah, once again, thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys are all enjoying uh, this series. Uh, leave a like if you are enjoying it. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Um, I've been keeping my eye on a game that's uh, coming out later this month. It's called Stardew Valley. Uh, it's another sort of Harvest Moon-esque kind of game, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's all been completely developed by one guy, and I mean completely developed by one guy. He's done uh, the code as well as the art, as well as the, the music, so... Um, and it just... It, it I've been watching the trailer repeatedly, and it blows me away every time. It looks gorgeous, it looks very in-depth. Uh, so I'm, I think that probably when that uh, does come out later this month, I'm going to start a Let's Play series on that. So uh, check out the trailer, it's, uh, tell me what you guys think, let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. Uh, but it does mean that I do want to try and get this series um, at least close to wrapped up by the time that lands uh, at the end of the month. So uh, I think this, the way that we're doing the episodes now, um, where we sort of just skip through uh, and find the interesting bits is a lot better because it means that I can um, record for longer periods and get through more of the game at once. So, uh, yeah, as always, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you guys think anyway. Um, if you do want to check out more or you want to see more of the series that I'm going to be posting in the future, then feel free to subscribe to me or follow me on Twitter for uh, updates. Uh, so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next episode.